around the world and he speaks fluent Japanese. So if you want to interview, interview him in Japanese, speak the three. Then you have, you have Mr. Michiya Suzuki, of course, fluent in Japanese and also very fluent in, in English. He's the general manager of Red Wing Japan, which is also responsible for the whole Asia. And finally, we have Mr. Philip Chan, which is the general manager for the safety uh, division at Leader Limited, which is actually uh, the key distributors for, for, for Southeast Asia. So without further ado, I'll just leave the session. Thank you, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming. Uh, really excited to be here, really excited to open this store. Obviously, it's the best place for us to tell our story. And Red Wing, we think, has an amazing story. First of all, I want to say, as he already said, thank you to the team who built this store. A lot of hard work has gone into creating this. It's not easy to uh, design a store and open a store. Uh, really great for the lead-in team. Uh, uh, Stephen Tan, to Kelvin Lee, uh, Philip, Nancy, uh, they're our partners. The Red Wing's been around for 109 years. Uh, it'll be 110 years next year. Uh, owned by the same family since the beginning. So for us, having these global partners is really important. Uh, we have a great business around the world. And Leiden is a really unique company for us. Uh, Red Wing is divided into three uh, kind of divisions. Uh, the biggest division, of course, is the industrial division. You'll see some of those boots next door. The services, oil fields, and mining, and business around the world. Uh, and then there's the Heritage Division, which is this division you see here today, which really celebrates the history of Red Wing and uh, our factories and our, 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 our capacity to make really beautiful shoes. And we have an outdoor division as well, which is the brand Fast, which we started in the 60s. But uh, Lead is a unique company that actually, one of the few companies that sells our brand. They sell both the Heritage and the uh, Industrial brand. So we're very proud to work with them. Uh, we've been partners for almost 37, almost 40 years. Almost 40 years, which is an amazing feat in and of itself. So, uh, for us, happy to be here, answer your questions. Uh, it's really a great story. We'd love to share it uh, whenever we can. So, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to grab us, talk to us, and uh, uh, thank you again for coming. Uh, this is Mitya Suzuki, very happy to meet you and thank you very much for coming to witness the opening of this Red Wing Shoes for Singapore with us. And you know, let me explain a little bit of this heritage business. Actually, you know, it was an interesting story because heritage business of Red Wing started in Asia. It was not from USA. And the reason, you know, the fact that we have this business now you know, they didn't happen in Asia, didn't discover them as a lifetime product. Because Red Wing Shoe Company always tried to make the best quality work goods for industrial workers. And they are doing still today. This is our business. But it was almost 40 years ago, you know, the you know, Japanese fashion magazines, you know, the, you know, very innovative, you know, the other time. You know, the store people found Red Wing was a very interesting lifetime product. And they started selling in lifestyle products. And, you know, but it was work in the USA, you know, for workers, and that became lifestyle products, expensive lifestyle products in Asia. And but if you think about blue jeans, used to be workwear for mining workers. And now we have, every of us have several pairs of blue jeans wearing every day as a fashion and just uh, and a regular, you know, very rare for the comfort, then it makes sense that work goods, which is made very, made very rugged, strong, and comfortable, you know, in the long term wear, can be the lifestyle product. And that's how Red Wing grow as a lifestyle product in Japan, and it is slowly developing into the Asia. And in the Singapore, I think we have almost 20 years you know, there was 20 years ago, a small group of customers started to buy Red Wing as a lifestyle. And, you know, they could be the kind of stuff, you know, they came to know Red Wing as a work booth, but then soon started every day. You know, even when they are not working because it's very comfortable. So, uh, you know, we have a great opportunity of, you know, Red Wing brand, you know, especially classic work booth as a lifestyle business. And you know it grows slowly, and now we came to have this store. And 
I always say this store is not a store, it is a temple. Because this is not, you know, the selling a product is not the objective. It could be conceived. The objective of store is you know help the visitors discover the value of the product. Mm -hmm. If they find our values, then probably they are buy it as consequence. But you know if we don't ask customer to buy, we ask customer or we help customer to find, discover the great values of a brand. And you know that is why all the you know interior, all the decoration is telling different stories about brand. It could be heritage, history, authority, craftsmanship, you know, traditions. You know, they, we have so many history, we have so many stories to tell. So, you know, this is how the store should be and how store is. So, you know, I hope that you can find those stories you know, today about many things that we displayed over here. And if you have some questions, if you have some interest in something, please ask us. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you for coming, all of you. It's a pleasure to uh, welcome you. Okay, Mija has uh, mentioned about the uh, consumer uh, wearing the uh, work derived kind of uh, segment is slowly becoming a popular this lifestyle, and it is happening as well in uh, Singapore and most of Southeast Asia. Actually. We discover it. I have been selling uh, ripping shoes for 24 years now in this company. And I can find uh, the guys that I sold to, of course, they are advanced in age. But, <laughs> but you see, young guys coming to buy shoes and they, they are asking different questions. They are looking for more friendly, colorful looking design. And this, this trend is definitely coming as I also talk to guys that sell the denim. Young people are very intelligent now, so they are always looking for information. They want to know which is the real stuff that comes with a strong tradition, classical, and living so many years of, uh, of uh, heritage in shoe making, the use of quality leather and so forth, really stand out. And it's quite passionate you know, for myself to sell the product. Selling to passionate people that want to buy a truly authentic product. That's how I was explaining to some. This shop, being the flagship shop, we will help you know, to uh, have emotional engagement with our consumer, um, showing them what is the signature element of the red wing. The leather is one, of course, the craftsmanship is that one. A time honored way of making the shoe from the very beginning. Founder Charles Bagnon, how he wants the shoe to make. We keep it. We keep the old machine here. You can see from right from the entrance, and it's still using those machines. To make. And if if we sell shoes, we hope that uh, we can also add value by showing the consumer how how we can treat a good quality product like this. Now to meet ya. Many years old, already this shoe. Uh, if you treat it, you can see the character of a good leather. Is that appearing? So we have uh, shoe care product over there, and we will run a uh, shoe cleaning clinic from time to time on various kind of leather that we have, uh, uh, so we can all bring our shoes together here to practice on how to make it look beautiful. Okay, worn is beautiful. That's why we put quite a few pair of these uh, worn shoes around. Some of those belongs to uh, one is belongs to Mija, some belongs to our uh, colleague that works here. Okay. And this being a flagship store, of course, we carry the full collection of the Red Wing range. Uh, and some are only found in a Red Wing flagship store, uh, like the uh, Irish Setter. Uh, that is a world, uh, world heritage range. Uh, we also have uh, the Chaka added to the uh, classic dress range. We have three range of product the classic dress, the work range, which is the biggest collection. And the other one is the work service shoe. By then we have the poster of a postman delivering letters to the garage man. So we bring back the garage man. Flipping catalog in the 1950s, we found we had something called a garage man. And we bring back the garage man. So that's, that's, uh, 
project will help the uh, very uh, uh, strong uh, green green consumer to come here, the one we just said, enjoy the selection, touch and feeling. Get some future engagement with the real product as well. And then, uh, then we have the nice furniture here to fit to our shoe of the people play properly because uh, this is very important. If we fit the shoe correctly for our consumer, they wear it from heel to ball, then you can have the most uh, comfortable fit of the shoe. And then wearing a very uh, uh, hard quality so you will feel more comfortable. Of course, over time, uh, the shoe will break. When you call it break, you will have a lot of enjoyment wearing. So this shop is built by like that and this is facilitated by my uh, colleague, uh, our store ambassador, well trained, and he will be able to help uncover uh, all the values that the waiting brand has in the shoe. Okay? That's what I said. That's what I did. <laughs> if you have any question, we are always ready to answer those because there's a lot of story here. Just, uh, just, uh, I was just talking to someone, there's a lot of story to share. But we can't complete in the day. So I think I'll stop here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm Asia, distributor for Redwing Shoes. So, uh, Philip, can you tell us a bit about um, Redwing Shoes and how it came to our shores in South Asia? Ah, okay. So, Redwing. Redwing. Covering Redwing like in 1970 something. Selling industrial product to working people, and uh, so you brought in this uh, product, this bread to sell to these people who use it for industrial work, like on working on oil platform and all that. But as time grows, in the 1990s, 1996, like that, we discovered there are a, a younger group of people asking for this brand. But they wanted the non safety, they wanted the more beautiful looking, more colorful design. And we start looking at the catalog and we found that there's this uh, more heritage looking range of ribbons available. And we started bringing a few pair, a few more pair, and then we just discovered that there is really a big, huge for the demand for them. Great. So, so you think in the last three years, um, Redwing has grown a lot in Singapore. Oh yes, yes. Last three years there's been a change because uh, Redwing also discovered that they should um, market this uh, her more heritage looking using our rich leather like it's here right. in a traditional way that we used to make the shoe using machines like that to make shoes mm -hmm. and, and for, for more lifestyle kind of also follow the trend. We discovered guys where they are daily. They are looking for more premium quality journey. And there are guys who want to work in the boots, but they don't want to wear it for work, they want to wear it for their lifestyle, trade and fashion. And they want a good quality product. So, so we need to find them and to discover us. So this is this is probably why we are here now today. So you think you think your store in the middle of uh, the orchards, uh, like orchard shopping district, would actually help you actually market and grow the brand? Um, yeah, yeah. 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 Orchard is a it's like a central place to discover new trend and all that. Right. This is the right place. A lot of young people like to uh, meet a meeting place for young people. They can come here together. It should be the right place. It should be, yeah, I think so. Okay, thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you, pleasure. Thank you. Okay, yeah. thank you.